We're going to talk about, um, show you an example of a business plan. This business plan was produced by a student um, in a previous class. All rights to this idea are that person's um, rights, and I'd ask you to respect those uh, as you've signed a document showing that you will not take any of the ideas uh, heard here and use them. Uh, the second page of the business plan ought to have an executive, uh, a table of contents showing that you're going to have an executive summary. Uh, the second section will have a general company description you'll have for your products and services. Uh, you will develop a, uh, a marketing plan, identifying your products, comparing yours to your competitors, and so forth and so on. Um, you have a market analysis. You'll have the operations plan, you'll have a financial plan with budget, and you'll have a competitive uh, analysis and that sort of thing. Um, in this particular uh, example, uh, said student was um, going to operate this particular company, and uh, she was uh, working on this particular project, and... Uh, explains in this area here what her expertise are, what uh, her company is going to do, what kind of company structure it's going to be, similar to what had to be put out in the, the uh, SWOT analysis example. She talked about the target audience. Uh, she talked about the geographical boundaries and the opportunities that existed uh, for this particular company. And that's what she needed to do. She did provide a financial summary, how much she thought it would cost to start up the business and her average monthly expenses. And that all went into the um, executive summary. Um, she gave a general company description and how she planned to operate, what kind of business it was going to be, the name of the business. Um, she provided a slogan on uh, what the business was about and then she indicated numerous goals and objectives that existed for the company. Um, she went into some detail on how she was going to explain to the customer this product and how it would be of benefit to individuals who purchased it. Um, she walked through the entire process of what it would be like to um, be successful and how that was going to work. Uh, she went in and explained her uh, morals that she had, and we've talked about ethics and the importance of ethics. Uh, she talked about the character of the company and the level of integrity of that company and what she, how she expected to operate. Uh, she also talked about a little bit about her market uh, she was going to start in Craighead County and in Memphis, and then she would, over time, move to Little Rock and Dallas. And she indicated where she thought that she would be able to sell these products. She explained the industry, and she was selling a device that was going to protect people. So she went into a rather lengthy discussion of, um, of things related to crime in the region and then she also talked about um, how people use their phones to check for time but that uh, watches were a fashion statement but if they could be used uh, as a protection tool as well that they would have a better strength and she identified what she thought would be the pricing she also looked at what the competition was doing, how they were selling watches and how they were selling um, uh, products to uh, individuals. And then um, she went in and she explained that she was a sole proprietor and how she was going to operate as a LLC. Um, and reality is the LLC is not as good as, or is better than the sole proprietor. She probably could have done that. She did talk about those things. Um, she went for cheap. 
and maybe she can get away with it. I'm not sure. Um, she has a really catchy slogan, and that's called Watch Out. And uh, she's combining fashion and personal protection into this slogan. And she basically goes through and walks you through and explains um, the pepper spray industry and the protection that women have and, and men too. Um, describes the cost of some of that competition. And she explains a competitive advantage. And she's indicating how she's going to keep that competitive advantage by introducing new watch styles each year. And um, then she goes in and um, addresses, uh, which is a huge part of the marketing plan and marketing analysis, uh, her products, her features and benefits, and then um, what is the market out there and the trends that are going on with watchmaking and products like that. She addresses her web strategy. And she also indicates how she plans to introduce new products and enter new territories. Uh, she discusses her sales strategy and the cost uh, of the, that, those watches. And then she talks about how she plans to enter into some long-term agreements with some organizations that will assist her. She also goes in and reflects on the fact that she needs to refine her tool. And then... Um, She's explaining then how she will go through the process of the manufacturing product delivery. And then she goes in and she explains extensively the budget that she plans to use uh, for the marketing budget. This is just the marketing budget, how she plans to get that out there. Uh, she goes into a rather lengthy market analysis, uh, looking at the demographics, looking at uh, all of the competitors and she wraps all of that up she talks about uh, what they're doing how they're operating where their physical space is if there are customer reviews she goes into extensive customer reviews talking about what she thinks is going to be um, her competition and then she's seeking inside those reviews she's seeking weaknesses of the competitor and that allows her then to go in to compare herself to the competitors and where she thinks that she'll be uh, in relationship to the competition. And then she gets for real. And she goes in and she says, this is how we're going to operate. This is how much it's going to cost for office space. This is how much it's going to cost for rent, Wi-Fi, um, and all sorts of internal costs. She's paying herself. She's paying herself to work 50 hours a week and she's going to make $23,000. And then she's going to, she talks about the organizational structure, the number of employees, who's going to oversee the operation, um, how many watches she's going to be able to produce in a certain amount of time. Um, she says that she's going to hire an accountant, which is appropriate. She's going to explain her computer systems, how she's going to do her, uh, everything she's going to do with her computer system. And she's identified the types of equipment that she thinks that she'll actually need. She has addressed every single item inside the market analysis that is requested of you. Uh, then she goes into her budget. She thinks she's going to make $100,000 in sales in the first year. Uh, and then she talks about her uh, budgeting, her equipment, and everything like that. And then identifies where she's going to get the money to start. So she's got a 0.02% interest. Uh, basically, it's an interest-free loan from family investors. Uh, she has some other investors uh, that she's priced pretty high there. 15% interest, that's a lot. And she's got a small business loan from Regions Bank. And then she goes in and she actually starts and identifies how she's going to operate for a year with all of her budget. She's added an Excel file and you can use uh, this particular uh, tool here because uh, she's actually identified here all of this. You can see 
what she's included and this is a good example of a 12 month cash flow. She's also included her um, competitive analysis and I really hear um, I would put pluses and minuses here. She used yeses and nos and highs and lows and that sort of thing. Um, and you can also use descriptors in there of the different uh, groups. And then she provides me with some discussion of um, how she put these uh, terms in here and why she did those. So this is a, a really nice example of how to put together a business plan and uh, providing all the statistics, all the references that are needed and uh, this person did a nice job at compiling their particular uh, business plan.